Hey viewers, a question that comes up occasionally is how to remove the star-fangled nut from a uh, fork steerer tube. First of all, some of you might be asking, what is a star-fangled nut? This is a star-fangled nut right here. And what it is, it's basically two little spring steel discs with a little threaded tube between them. And it's uh, pressed into the uh, top of a fork steerer tube. It's designed to go in one way, be pushed down in but it's designed in such a way is they won't come back out. So that way the, uh, the little uh, top cap on the uh, uh, st uh, steerer and the stem there threads into that and can be tightened down into that little threaded part there. And like I said, it's designed to be not be removable. And so you might ask, well, why would you want to remove it? There's not a lot of real reason to remove it. In most cases you put it in, it just stays there. But one reason why you might want to uh, remove it is if you're going to go ahead and cut the steer a little shorter. You get a new fork here and it's got a, a uh, little star fangled nut in there and you want to cut it shorter. So um, even though you don't necessarily need to remove it, what you can do is just push it down farther in it's a steerer, cut it off there and reuse the uh, star fangled nut that's already in there. Another option is to take the existing one, push it way down in, cut the uh, steerer off, and then uh, push a new star fangled nut into the steerer there. But if you really want to remove it, there's a couple different options here. Um, one thing you do is on a lot of forks, they're, they're pretty open at the bottom. So what you can do is take maybe like a long screwdriver, push it in here, and then use a hammer and just push the star fangled nut down and push it out through the bottom there. Um, now some, it won't work, uh, some forks like that, that is kind of closed up down here at the bottom, and so that uh, little uh, star fangled nut won't come out through the bottom there. But another option is we can go ahead and drill the little part here and then pull it out. And that's what I'm going to do today. Now I don't need to drill all the way down through the star fangled nut. Um, I only actually need to drill down through the little top part here. Uh, it's kind of like a rivet. And if I drill down this a little bit, this top little disc here will be able to be pulled free from the whole unit. I can angle it, pull it out, and then I can angle the bottom part and pull it out as well. Um, I have the steer mounted here into a bench vise. I have like some soft jaws in there holding it. And I'm going to start off with a 5 16 inch drill bit. I think that's uh, enough to drill down through there and open that up. And so just very carefully get that going. Well, the 5 16 wasn't quite uh, wide enough in diameter. So I'm going to try a 3 8 inch drill bit and see how that works. Okay, so now that I have that drilled out there, I need to get that little top disc angled a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screwdriver here and just tap it along the one side there. Try to get the one side pushed down a little bit. And see how it kind of angled up there? And now I can reach in with some needle nose pliers here and try to pull this out here. like that. And so now I have this bottom part here um, and I can do the same thing that. Tap on the one side here and try to get it, it angled in there. And then I pull it out. And that is how to remove a star fangled nut. And so the original star fangled nut here is just completely destroyed, but that's not a big deal because you really don't want to reuse these things. Even if you push it out through the bottom and it's more or less intact, just go ahead and replace it. They're not real expensive and that's probably just the best thing to do anyway. Um, anyway, hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button. you see new videos that come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a ton of stuff over there. And I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for that page. I have videos categorized. I have forums where you ask questions. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.